Today I will read the story of the crow and the pitcher. There once was a clever crow, though, who was cunning and wise in everything he did. Crow could crack open and not just by flying high in the air and dropping it onto some hard stones. He didn't even have to use his beak. Crow would never go hungry like the other birds and could always find tasty treats for his supper. Example, by doing a little dance on the soil, Crow could make the worms fall up to see what was going on. The clever bird had a very good brain, indeed, and he knew how to use it. Then one day, Crow needed to be cleverer than he had ever been before it was a hot dry summer's day and the crow has been in having a lovely time flying about by the afternoon he became very thirsty and all he wanted was a cool drink of water crow flew over hills and fields looking for a pond or, or a stream to drink from but he couldn't find one anywhere soon crow was nearly ready to give up i don't know where else to look he said with a very dry throat there isn't a drop of water to be found anywhere just then crow saw a cottage far below him and flying closer he suddenly spotted a table in the garden in the middle of the table was a tall glass pitcher of water by now crow was even more thirsty so he swooped down to take a closer look when crow flew down to the table and tried to stick his head into the neck of the pitcher he found that it was much too narrow for him to take a drink from he almost got his head stuck in there so desperate for a drink crow perched onto the table and started at and stared at the pitcher he could see that the pitcher was only half full of water and it couldn't wouldn't need to be filled all, all the way to to the top so that the crow could easily dip his beak in to take a drink. Crow hopped onto the table with his head cooked on one side, thinking hard from or a way to reach the water. Then he noticed that the path leading up to the cottage was filled with tiny round petals. This gave him an idea. Crow hopped off the table where the pitcher stood and picked up one of the petals. Flying back to the table, he dropped the petal into the pitcher. It fell to the bottom with a plop. Then he went back for another petal and another, plopping them into the water each time. Each time Crow dropped a petal into the water, it took a place. The more petals that Crow dropped in, the more space they took. Up soon. When the water began to be, he pushed up to the top until the pitcher was nearly full enough for the Crow to take a sip. It worked! He squealed, hopping up and down and flapping his wings with excitement. I'll soon be able to drink. Crow said he, he worked all evening filling the pitcher with petals and eventually Crow's task was done. This is the moment I've been waiting for, Crow said, and he put his beak into the neck of the pitcher where he could finally reach the water. He drank and drank and drank until he could n drink no more. Finally, he lifted up his head and gave the great cow of relief. 
problems can always be solved by looking around and making the best of what you've got, said the wise crow. As he took flight once more, he flew back home fully refreshed, delighted with how clever he has been. The aim of the story is where there's a will, there's a way. The end.